you're hoping to have strings in that by the end of the night? I mean, I could technically put strings on. I was just thinking but that. But it's not wired up. Yeah, wire it up first. Yeah. Because I want to play that. <laughs> So, I'm about ready to start wiring this. However, I've been puzzling for a while over how I'm going to attach this pickup. Because, with it being angled, and it's a slightly different shape cavity to a standard humbucker route, and the top is radiused, I can't really do what I'd normally do with a humbucker and... I mean, I can't really do either of the things I'd normally do, because the back is the actual back of the guitar and there's no kind of way to set a depth on the cavity, I couldn't solid mount it to the back of the cavity. Because of all the previous things I mentioned, I can't really use a, pick, a standard pickups around. So I'm going to have to make something to make this work. I had thoughts about kind of having something that kind of locked into these sides here and just kind of had the pickup floating. Uh, I had ideas about putting a threaded insert into the back of the guitar and having it adjustable from the rear, kind of a bit like uh, Dan Electra lipstick pickups. I had various other ideas and they all kind of came back to having something that followed my angles and my lines on top. I spent a little while last night messing around on the computer and this morning ran off a couple of test pieces to see what it looked like and some a pickup surround of some sort. Now normally you'd have a ring which you'd have to kind of in this case, stretch it to fit, and it would look a bit unsightly. For this, I think I'm going more towards flaps, which, these are my kind of prototypes, which, in every way except for the location of the holes, are pretty much perfect, which is kind of annoying. But these fit on the sides here and if I screw these flaps to the body and then I can just pop the pickup between the flaps and it'll screw through here and I'll have my height adjustment and because these are screwed to the body everything's nice and solid my hand is probably in the way of you being able to see anything there but as I make the uh, new and improved version it will start to make sense now initially I was going to make them out of ebony to match the fretboard, but I don't have a piece big enough. I do however have some very heavily flamed roasted maple, which I've got kind of cut into blocks to make pickups with, uh, pickup covers with. This is some of the roasted maple which I did the test pieces out of, and I stained it black and sanded it and oiled it and it looks perfect. So I'm going to take that approach and just do the same thing with the ones that I make for this. And I think all I can really do now is trim up a piece of roasted maple and start the CNC going. And hopefully it should create a pair of these that actually work. So, fingers crossed, and then I can start wiring it. Yeah, let's press go.
So these have now had time for the oil to dry and they look perfect as much as I hate to say perfect. So what I need to do now is attach them to the pickup and get them mounted. Now I'm going to have the pickup this way up so that the wire naturally kind of just comes this way to the controls where I need it. I've also put an extra small spring in here to double it up so it's a little bit stiffer. And that should help hold it comfortably in position. Right, I'm going to feed <coughs> the wire through there, I should be able to put the pickup in place, and I can now mark and drill for my flaps. There we are. I will adjust the height of the pickup properly later on, but for now, I'm going to keep it there because it looks perfect. <clears throat> right, and now I'll have a quick clear up and then we flip the guitar over and we can start adding some wiring. Now, if anybody was paying attention earlier, you may have noticed that when I put the bridge on, I forgot the ground wire. That has been rectified. There is now a ground wire. So, Lace recommend a 250k pot for the volume on the Illumitone pickups. Apparently they're quite bright, so if you use a 500k it can be a bit ice picky and too much. So, I'm going to put a CTS 250k pot in here. And it's definitely a good job that I uh, put the cavity in the back because that's snug. And since the pot's there, let's put the knob on. That works. I'm also going to put <clears throat> the switch in place and then I can start trying to figure out how to solder it together. That could be a challenge. So, an Illumitone pickup has four wires. The orange one is the live or the hot wire. The green is a ground for the actual body of the pickup and there's a white, a white wire and a white and black wire. They are for the coils so it's essentially where you ground it. The black and white is the final ground for both coils. The white is the ground for just a single coil. So if I have on my switch in the down position if I solder the white and black wire and for the up position the white wire and then I run the connection from that back to ground on the back of the volume pot that should give me coil splitting and a working pickup in theory so I'm going to start soldering this and hope that I'm right. First of all though, I'm going to bend up the tab on the volume pot for the ground. The angles aren't great so you're not going to get to see inside this. But I will be trimming wires and uh, 
trying to make this as tidy as possible whilst I'm doing it. Hopefully my soldering iron should be quite hot now. Which it is. That's all wired. I need a longer screwdriver to screw in the last screw on the jack plate, but all the wiring is tucked and hidden away in there. I just need to check that it all works. So I've dug out my workshop amp, which is filthy, old and crap, but it works. The jack into there. We should be on the humbucker setting. We are. All the intonation's out, but it works. Let's plug it back into the amp and see what we've got. <clears throat> the nut is horrifically high, the intonation is miles out, and I haven't stretched the strings or done any setup work. <laughs> incredibly useful tool to have when you're soldering is a pair of tweezers. I've got a pair somewhere, they've got ceramic tips so that they don't uh, conduct the heat back up to your hand. But I can't find them. I can never find them when I need them. 